Mexican cuisine is one of the best in the entire world. One video was not enough to cover all the juicy dishes you can eat, so here's the sequel. Just a heads up, this video is not going to include dishes that were as popular as the ones in the previous video, and we definitely advise you check that out. So here are the 7 traditional Mexican dishes you have to try. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 7. Papas Rellenas we're going to be starting off this list with one of the tastiest snacks you can find in Mexican cuisine. Papas rellenas are actually mashed potato balls that have been stuffed with a spoonful of picadillo and closed up. They are dipped into egg wash and coated in fresh breadcrumbs. They are then left in the fridge to set up for a few hours before deep frying them. They're crunchy on the outside, and the nice inside is fluffy thanks to those mashed potatoes. As an added kick, you get a little bit of that picadillo, which ties it all together. Number 6. Chalupas Chalupa means small boat in Spanish. This recipe has been named Chalupa because these little cups made from masa dough resemble little boats. They are pressed into a special mold and then deep fried. This will give you a crunchy and shallow cup that you will then have to fill with whatever you want. Some of the more common ingredients include shredded chicken, pork, chopped onion, green salsa, red salsa, guacamole, chipotle pepper, and pretty much everything you can imagine. After you make the cups, you're free to put anything you want inside. Number 5. Pambazo if you ever go to Mexico, you will see these things everywhere you go, because people love it because it's basically a burger filled with a special filling called papas con chorizo. But why is it so red? We're glad you asked. The pambazo is red because the bread smashed that like button if you haven't done so already. Uh, but no, the bread is actually covered in red guajillo pepper sauce, then they are fried in a pan with oil. After you take them out of the pan, you stuff them with chorizo mix, add some lettuce, and close the top. It's crunchy, meaty, and delicious. Number 4. Elotes this is corn on the cob taken to a whole new level. If you thought there were two varieties of corn on the cob, salted and unsalted, whew, just wait till you hear about the elotes. This is the grilled corn on the cob that's been covered in a generous portion of mayonnaise and then rolled in cotilla cheese until every single inch is coated in it. To finish it off, there is a sprinkling of some chili powder and a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. <laughs> Who knew that corn on the cob could actually be a full meal? Number 3. Conchas We've had a lot of sweet recipes in the previous video, and we'll have another one here. The conchas are sweet loaves of Mexican bread that have been covered in the authentic pastry layer on top that's made from butter, sugar, and flour. The conchas dough is made with yeast, milk, eggs, sugar, and some flour. They leave it to proof, and then they form it into small balls. Each of the balls are then covered with that special topping that cracks when it breaks. And to make the conchas more appetizing, pastry chefs usually add some food coloring. Number 2. Sopes The best thing we could describe the sopes is like this. You take the chalupas and then you prepare them like you would the pambazo. Now let's explain this a little further. The sopes have the form of a small cup that is made from masa. Then they are dipped in guajillo pepper sauce, deep fried, and put on a paper towel to drain off the excess oil. The sopes are then filled with some meat, lettuce, tomato sauce, and of course authentic Mexican cheese. Honestly, a personal favorite of mine. Number 1. Tortas Ooh, this is the Mexican equivalent of a burger, and there are different types of tortas in the various regions of Mexico, and you're more likely to find their tortas in Mexico City. For the burger, they use a special bread they call talera. They cut it in half, spread some red bean paste on the inside, and then you add some chicken, beef or pork, depending on your preference, and top it all off, you can add some cheese. There are so many different variations to this recipe, but this is the most common one. On a related note, we wanted to know which of these Mexican dishes have you tried? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.